Hello, DJ Sam here for another video. Sorry I've not posted in a while, I've been rather busy. I've been rather doing some exciting things. I've got a friend called David who knows quite a lot of people in the theatre because he loves theatre and he works in a few different theatres. And he knew this guy briefly who bought this old nightclub in Newcastle, which was very, very popular for university students and it was called Crush originally and they would play rock music on Saturday nights and then later got changed to Venue and they were playing DJ music and because he briefly knew him we were able to go there and take some awesome expensive equipment and here's one of them and I've really cleaned it quite heavy and it's an old disco light it's an LED and it's a, R, it's a BR100 and it's called a Euro light. I absolutely love it. Um, I'll be doing a video on this. Um, but yeah, this is 2010. Just spin it for you. That just lights up for you. So 2010 is when the light was released. Was was May release, but the club closed in summertime in 2013. And when we got this light, it wasn't working because the fuse had popped. So this light might have already been used for a whole year. It might have already been used for a couple of years. And it appears that it only was... It, the nightclub was only open on weekends, apparently. Or, I don't know. There's very little information about it, but I'm going to show you the pictures that we took at the nightclub. Just showing you the stuff we got. And tomorrow I'm going to his very early in the morning to see what's working. So we're going to clean them and uh, we're going to open them up we're going to use these, I've got three cans of um, air dust, air, kind of air to clean the dust. I'm going to use a cloth, we're going to clean it and then we're going to run the amps and see what works. Which is going to be awesome. It could just be just changing the fuse, that could just be the simple answer. So I'll show you the first one I took. This was when we were in the room at the bottom of the um, venue and we would have rummage in to see what they were. It's pretty awesome. Then we have got this photo which is pulling some stuff out and as you can see there there's a nice ball speaker and there's that disco light. And then I took a one outside which I'm gonna use as a thumbnail. Look at that. How awesome is that? So yeah, it might look like a pile of junk to you, but to us, it's a good stuff. And there's also a crown amp, which is not that old. So it might have been bought um, sort of before it closed, because one of the amps has got a cut. It's cut. So I'm assuming they bought that crown amp to replace the one that had bust. But we think it could just be a fuse. <laughs> Funny enough. Um, they're really heavy as well. Um, so we got four amps, two speakers, a strobe light, uh, some sort of mirror moving disco light, um, a DMX controller and also we got an old sort of chaser light which has bulging, which is pretty weird, but the, the sm uh, no, 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 that strobe light has um, DMX and also has DIN. So it's quite old. So we're hoping that works, but I think we need to replace the bulb, but I don't think we will because it's expensive. So yeah. So I'll show you the photograph that I took at his. We briefly cleaned them um with some like with a damp cloth. Not with a wet one, but it's just a moist cloth. Uh, that, that one. Oh and that is the uh chaser unit with the bulgin. Um, and then we've got this one, which is the Bose speakers, the 802 Series 2. Those are worth £400 each, brand new. Uh, they're really expensive. So it's pretty awesome. It's also got a fuse in there, which I believe that if your amp was to blow up, it would send an electric current straight through the speaker and blow the speaker, but it will just blow the amp it's got a safety on it so that if anything goes wrong 
it'll just blow the fuse rather than blow the speaker. I think that's what that is. Um, and uh, here's another one. This is the PPX 300 amplifier. It's pretty awesome. It's still got the original stickers on um, to show where it actually came from. There's the disc all in. And here is the very blurred image of the amps. A bloody phone is not very good. It's a bit crap. And then we've got this one, which proves it came from the Newcastle venue. There you go. The venue, Market Street, Newcastle. And it's even got a barcode on it. And we couldn't have just stuck that on there. It's legit. But what they've done is they've ripped off the bloody. Uh, uh, what's it called? Pat test dates? It's weird. I don't know why they've done that. Maybe they didn't want to know when the place was open. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It's a mystery. Here is the Bose speakers, which he quite happily said I can keep them. So I'm like, yes. So I'm getting two amps the Bose, the disc all that which I've got, and the uh, DMX light controller because he's got that. Um, but I gave him two flight cases, which is one of them's worth 80, the other one's worth 20, and I also gave him some movers, just some cheap lamp wing movers, and they cost 100 quid. So I gave him 200 quid worth of gear to say thanks, basically, because I'm a good friend. And uh, yeah, so we've got the PPX 900, which I've assumed those are 900 watt. We've got the PPX 300, and I think also the other amp which isn't in this one which is the crown amp I'm pretty sure that's 300 watt and that was to power up the Bose speakers because they're only 370 watt I believe it's about 370 and these PPX 900s well I don't know what they were used for they might have been used for the PVs actually there was a, a PV speaker and it was probably up to my um, my ankles not ankles, ankles, bloody hell, they'd be tiny. No, 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 no. They were up to my um, sort of waist, which is quite big, and uh, I couldn't lift them. They were super heavy. There was only one of them. I'm assuming that's what they powered those. And they had like maybe two of them for that. I don't know. If they used them, just the one amp, to, I don't know how many they had. So that's that. I'll show you pictures of the venue the new nightclub. So I thought this was quite cool. This is the uh, DJ booth. We didn't see a DJ booth when we were there because it was all stripped. This here is an important one because you can see that is the DMX controller and that's possibly down there. You can see that down there. It's very blurry but that is the controller for the lights. I don't know whether the amps were in this room but there is an amp room um, that was I think it's in there there was a room called an amp room and this one's pretty cool this has quite a lot of lights so I'm assuming that those are generics um, and though that one there is pro sound I believe and there's an old um, What's that? It's a gobo light. So I'm assuming it was open in the 90s. So yeah, somewhere in the 90s. And the speakers that they used that was hanging on was weird. They weren't bass speakers, I don't think. They were sort of cab horns. They were massive horns. So I don't really know what they were, but I think they were either subs or horns. I think there's one there, actually. Yes. It's some big, big ass horn. I think, Christ. And there's one there, I think, as well. Um, yeah. There's another one, which represents the Bose. There's the Bose speaker. What's that about? And that's what the outside looked like back in the day. That's awesome. And this is a really important one. Um, as you can see, that is probably the disco light. There's also a laser there, but that's probably the disco light. Um, yeah, there's also this one as well. I think it's one of them twin lights with the spots that go on the floor. So yeah, 
and here's the last image I think it's the last one they've got a smoke machine just around here right 2000 watt smoke machine ouch I've got a 1300 watt and I smoked uh, like an entire hall with just two big squirts so yeah yeah and this shows the Shotec so you see the Shotec it shows that it's being used there and it shows there's other things as well but we didn't get those because there's people that took some LEDs um, and after I'll show you the page actually so after this place closed down, I think it was called K Community, they took over it and what they did was is they used it as community space, but they kept the uh, bar. And even when they stripped it, they kept the bar there because there was still booze. <laughs> so the workers could have a, a few drinks on the, on the job. How uh, cool is that? So it was called Crush during the 90s. Um, See, it doesn't give me a, an ideal answer for when it was open, but looking at some of the gear, it was quite old, so I'm assuming it was probably the 90s when it was open. Um, so yeah, if you uh, have been to this club, let me know in the comments below. Um, but I just want to say that I can't remember the guy's name who owns it, but he gave us permission to take that stuff. We didn't go in there, we didn't just pillage, we didn't nick anything, we didn't steal anything. We got permission to go in that building when there was someone there to take the equipment, which is pretty awesome because I needed some amps for my PVs because my PV speaker um, need a powered amp and my powered amp blew up on me. Uh, it popped all the fuses, but luckily it didn't pop the speaker. Um, but it popped but luckily I was just using a crappy old speaker that I was trying to blow up yeah. uh, but I've got a power uh, mixer so but um, yeah I'm looking forward to getting all this stuff so tomorrow I'm going to his to put new plugs on them clean them up see what works and then Monday it's coming here so if you'd like to see a video of this stuff let me know and I'll sure do it definitely do it and I'm gonna to have to replace the I'm gonna to have to buy a new um what's it what they're called uh, a grill for the um PV, I don't know. for the balls I'm gonna to have to buy a new grill because the, the grill was missing for some reason maybe they were doing it to check the um the drivers but the drivers are absolutely fine they look absolutely fine and I grabbed them like that like that and kind of pushed them so if there was any scratching sounds fine so I think this should be okay but they need a good clean someone recommended that I use bumper uh, what they used to clean plastic bumpers because I kept saying I've cleaned it with a wet with a moist um, cloth and didn't clean it and I kept trying it and I kept doing it so I'm going to use some multi-purpose cleaner and try that and if it doesn't work then I'm going to get some bumper stuff and really give it a good but uh, a really good buff but if you've got any ideas yourself just drop them in the comments below so i'm going to end this video here sorry if it's been a bit boring but i just wanted to show you this really cool awesome thing that we got i'm really super excited because you know i own something that is from a really popular nightclub and it's like wow you know i actually dreamed about me actually having a friend that worked in a nightclub and that he cleaned it out and he gave me the stuff but um, I just want to say a massive thanks to David because if it wasn't for him I wouldn't have all this gear and it's made my dream come true because for years now I have always wanted some Bose speakers but I can never afford them and now I've finally got my dream speakers and an awesome disco light and some awesome amps which I'm going to be using so yeah anyways cheers for watching Hope you like this video. Cheers. Bye-bye.